available in the Aquarius 2018 playlist or, and in a link down below. So go check that out if you're interested. But here is your reading for uh, June or so through December 2018. So this is for the second part of the year. And I'm using the Tarot of Dreams, only the Arcana. So let's just lay them out. So you have the Moon, then the Magician, okay, and then we have the Fool, and then we have the Empress. I'll tell you guys all the meanings and stuff in a minute as I lay it out. And we have the Lovers, okay. And then we have the Temperance card. And then we have the sun. So pretty auspicious and good cards for your reading. Um, okay, that's really great. The sun is like your saving grace this, this year. I feel like you'll keep on being rescued and saved by good luck and circumstances that you were not expecting. I feel as though there's going to be a fundamental change of identity of who you are. You might change a career. You might change uh, your area of study. You might change an area of interest. The next message is uh, the devil. Okay. So um, you'll have a tendency to draw in this year. And so I feel like more so than that, I feel that that will become your, uh, your kind of uh, safety tactic or the thing that you do in order to assure that you're safe or that you have uh, what you what you need covered that you're being protected be careful to overuse that uh, because that can backfire for you so you can kind of have that miserly attitude that um, suddenly you're creating safety around yourself by uh, kind of keeping people out and that's not healthy either the next message is the strength card okay and then we have the world at the center so there's definitely opportunities that are coming up for you this year. Then we have the Hermit, okay? And then we have the Chariot. And then we have the Wheel, okay? So in change, there is great release for you this year. So as things change, as you embrace change, there is release for you in new directions that are going to liberate the past and free you up from things that are holding you back. And so change is going to be very, very enticing for you. It's going to be very seductive for you. You're going to feel like this is something that could potentially you know, cons you, you'll become kind of addicted to letting things go when they don't work out and embracing new opportunities. But that's not always the best solution. So you're going to have to be, you know, don't get too addicted to the idea of change. Don't get too addicted to the idea of, uh, you know, kind of throwing things away because there will come a point at which that will not be uh, the right or prudent choice you will find a new position of strength. You will find a new position of personal empowerment. And I feel like uh, women will be critical for your success. Now, if you're a woman, then you will find a new feminine identity, which means like, let's say that you don't really do your makeup a lot and uh, you don't get your hair done. And this year you start glamming up a little bit more, or maybe uh, you've been a mother and now your children are leaving, or your last child is leaving, and you're finding your new identity, um, you know, after your kids left home. Uh, likewise, if you're a man, then you might find uh, a really close relationship to a woman that transforms your perception of how women are. If you're a man who dates women, this will be greatly transformative for you in your relationships. You will gain a new respect for women and a greater understanding. Next, we have the judgment card. And then we have the high priestess. And remember, I use all the cards in this spread. So um, you're just going to see them all. Then we have the emperor. And then we have justice. Okay. And then we have the faith card, which is the, uh, the Hierophant. So Tauruses might be very important for you at this time. Then we have the star. And then finally we have the hanged man. 
So at the end of the year, the same kind of uh, limitations still persist into the following year, but your attitude has been readjusted and your position in them has become readjusted. The, the Fool card or the underlying card is changed. So there is an emphasis on your eighth house this year. And so there is a lot of change and transformation that is available to you, which you can embrace uh, through everything that is happening. Sorry, it's a little crooked. I can't help it now. But um, anyway, so, okay. So this these are your cards. And I'll get into the reading a little bit more deeper, and then we're going to clarify with um, more cards in just a moment. Okay? All right. So, um, okay. So, um, so I feel as though, okay, it's, it's a duplicitous kind of energy. And, and the difficulty in that is that on the one hand, the cards are saying, go for the change, embrace the change is going to bring you great luck and opportunity. Whereas on the other hand, there's this kind of like, um, like too much of an attachment to change that leads to kind of uh, bullheaded decisions that will lead you to setbacks ultimately. So you have to make sure that the change is coming organically and not being pushed through because you're anticipating change or you want that to happen in, in some way. I feel like for many of you, business opportunities become very strong in 2018, particularly in the latter part of the year. Financial opportunities are there for you. I feel like um, there's new directions, new hopes that you want to take. Um, in life that you progress and personally develop in new directions. I feel like for some of you, solitude will continue throughout 2018. Sorry to say that, but you're, you're more empowered in that. You're like directing your solitude towards an aim and towards getting something out of life that you want. Some of you will experience solitude because you will be traveling. So you will be out in the world and just exploring the world. And so a part of that will be you being alone or, you know, you making the choice to make some kind of journey to learn about the world around you. And I feel like there's something that's coming through that has to do with fairness and order that's really important for you in 2018. So a situa it feels like there is something on hold in the back end of your life. And it's something that you've lived with for a very long time. And it's either legal things or bureaucratic things and you have to paperwork kind of thing and you have to address it and it's really taking a long time for it to work out it's really taking a long time for it to come together in some way that makes sense and so I feel like a part of it is going to reinitiate this year although I feel like you've got grown accustomed to life with this thing in your life so it's like Maybe someone in your family is married to someone you don't really like and you're waiting tentatively for the divorce to come through and, and you feel like it's coming through. But it's closer than that. It's your own personal things. Maybe you have some out, outstanding, you know, uh, paperwork that you have to complete. Maybe you have to claim citizenship or maybe you have to do something that's more tedious than something that you want. And so, uh, but it's a bureaucratic step. It's, it's something that actually stops you from living your life in the way that you want. Uh, but uh, it's the consequence of uh, leading your life in a certain direction. And, um, and so it's always going to be there. And I feel like this year you're going to address it and, and get rid of it. It's not a big deal because I don't feel like it's like, for some of you, it's a big deal, but for most of you, it's, it's something like, you know, you have to fill out the paperwork, you have to claim something that's yours, you have to uh, fulfill an obligation towards something in some direction, right? Okay. So, yeah, the personal, okay, this is really interesting, the tower here. I feel like the thing that you makes you strong is fun fundamentally going to change this year. I feel like I feel like the thing that's strong is shifting and you're you're the core center or the, the thing that which makes you strong or the thing through which you are strong is shifting. So 
if your strength was singing all your life, now maybe your strength becomes art or even science. So you're fundamentally shifting as to who you are, as to what defines you. Furthermore, I feel like there's a soulmate relationship that is coming through for you in the latter part of the year. You have uh, that this is uh, to do with like bringing you great happiness and joy. And I feel like if you're called to take a journey this year, I would really encourage you to do it. Even if it makes, if it, if it requires that you sell off things that you ch fundamentally change your life, embrace that. I feel like you're off, you're running away from a cliff and um, the cliff behind you is kind of eroding. Uh, I feel like they caught on to you. I don't know if that resonates for you, but like Aquarian energy has a lot to do with uh, being autonomous and being independent. And that's really attractive to other people and other situations. And so they, people of a lesser nature or quality, they begin to copy your 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 the thing that you're doing and then that thing becomes saturated and you start feeling claustrophobic because people who are just copycats start doing what you're doing and then they ruin it right so it's like anything else something's pure just like okay burning man right burning man was really amazing in the 90s or early 2000s and then people started figuring out that it was a thing and then they start showing up and bringing drugs or bringing like um, their own party lifestyle. And so they kind of destroy what's pure and what's beautiful. And Burning Man is a festival in the desert. And uh, and yeah, so so it's kind of like that. You're kind of like Burning Man. You're kind of like um, on uh, onto something. You're onto something for the purpose of freedom enlightenment experience something quite beautiful and pure and then other people come in and ruin it and i feel like they've caught on to what you're doing like what you've been doing has become trendy and now it's being polluted by you know lesser minds or people who do things for ulterior motives and so therefore pollute the purity of what you've created for yourself and it's no longer feeling so good and so it's like a cliff that you're running away from and that cliff is eroding and the volume of the people is making that that area that that thing in life really not that great yoga is another example yoga used to be very like in the 70s and 80s even through the 90s it was like a very pure peripheral thing that people didn't really do in the mainstream and then it got saturated in the 2000s and it was really unpleasant for a minute a lot of people who did yoga stopped doing it because it was just so cranked full of stupid ideas and stupid people now it's kind of calmed down and it's cool again um, but for a minute it was just really kind of like this fake superficial thing so you're feeling in your life like they've caught on to your pure thing that you love to do and you have to move on and and this is important so you have to move on with your heart this is pure channeled reading i'm looking at the beautiful blue sky so i hope you guys don't mind that i'm not even looking at the cards i'm kind of feeling their energy so i hope you guys enjoy this but i feel i feel this is a big message for 2018 that aquarius is meant to follow your heart and remember my moon's in aquarius so it's it's the emotional or spiritual center of who I am so for you guys that's a really good message so I hope that you listen to it a couple times and see how that resonates for you but on a high level not within the details but in like the general theme of things you have to switch because the thing that was good is in some way now become very restricted and the thing that you found freedom through is now something that is of a different quality in nature and it's not necessarily your fault but if you are afraid to change it if you don't make that choice if you don't make the decision if you keep on deciding to come back to that thing that is not pu no longer pure no no longer untainted um, then you get stuck and it doesn't have to be Burning Man. It doesn't have to be yoga. I was just trying to reach for some type of example. And uh, and and I feel like some travel, some change of 
scenery, some change of surroundings are going to be a part of that for you, Aquarius. And you have the, <laughs> like, this is your fool card, the death card. Now, maybe a Scorpio is going to show up. Whenever Scorpios sh show up in my life, that's like a time of really huge transition and change. They're just like, and, and it's this kind of black comedy around them always. There's this kind of air of, and I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart too. But like, um, whenever I, f I find a lot of Sun Scorpios show up, it's like, it's like this, they don't even realize the black humor or the dark humor that they're bringing to very dark, morbid situations. It's very peculiar because they support you, but they don't support you in the way that a Cancer would or the way that, you know, a Pisces would. They do it in this kind of black comedy, <laughs> like where, where it's very ironic and very sort of, yeah, ironic or even, even kind of like an air of like displeasure in uh, that relationship, but they're supporting you through whatever transition you're going through. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if Scorpio people didn't show up for you this year. And <laughs> when you see them, you're going to be like, well, wait a minute, this is going to be a little intense. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. So, um, I feel like if you're in school, you could potentially meet someone very important. You can meet someone that you really fall in love with on a soul level and make a deep connection with. Um, this person could be the person that leads you in a new direction uh, and really inspires you to do something different. So let's talk about this hangman and then we'll switch to the uh, clarifiers. But what we see here is the hangman. And I feel like with this hangman, there's this air of you know, stasis, the situation that you, um, that the situ some of the circumstances of the situation or some circumstance that you are responsible towards are not going to change. And as much as I want to tell you that you're going to be free of the shackles that you're under, I, I feel like it's going to take longer than 2018. However, it's like a, f what I s I'm seeing here is a fundamental change in who you are, who you are in the world what you represent, what your mindset is like, what you're willing to accept, all those things. And those things are fundamentally changing, although the world's not cut up to you yet. And that's kind of a part of being Aquarius. You're always ahead of the curve a little bit. You know, you're always kind of, you run ahead and then you wait for the other kids to catch up as they're running behind you. You're a little bit faster than the rest of us. So you have this kind of position. But once they get there, then they start doing stupid stuff and it makes me, you want to run again, right? So, so that's just kind of your nature. But in this way, they have their hooks in you in, in one way or another. There's some kind of, you know, contract or responsibility that you have to adhere to. And it's kind of a pain in your butt because all you want to do is rise up and, and do more and expand and grow business opportunities. Aquarius, just get on it, you know, embrace those business opportunities. So th I thought as a, as a treat, because you guys didn't uh, get your reading on time for the new year, but this is for the latter part of the year. That's why I deprioritized it so I could do the love expansion guide for you guys. But yeah, um, I'm going to read with the Lenormand cards. So uh, now it's kind of the cat's out of the bag. This is a Lenormand type reading. I didn't tell you guys this. I did this reading also for December and um, yeah, it's kind of like it's inspired by some other readings that I saw, but I kind of put it together myself in terms of themes and, and, and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I think it's very powerful and the messages that come through are really big, but here's your clarifier cards. And I'm going to use the expanded edition of the Gilded Reverie. Let's see. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. So let's take a look at the world. So yeah, you're, you're, this is the compass. So you're trying to find direction, exactly which way to go. You don't know. You have to figure it out. And I feel like that that's the point. Like you're, you're struggling in two ways. Um, you're struggling with to have uh, confirmation. To, you're struggling with uh, a vision of what you need to do, which way you want to go. And then on the other hand, you're struggling vis-a-vis -vis other people that in some way either 
it's like they think you're cool so they want to go along with you but once they're there they they won't really do anything so it's like having a friend who really wants to be your friend because they like you and you're so exciting maybe you like river rafting your friend's like whoa i want to be your friend you know you like river rafting it's so cool but when it comes down to it they'll never go river, river rafting with you so it's like a friend for river rafting like what's the point if they're not going to do it you know they just so it's like, so it's like, yeah, so the people around you that are in some way, they're kind of like dead weight. And I don't like thinking of people as dead weight, but it's in the choices that they make rather than quality of the individual. And whenever I say something like this, just focus on the behavior and not on, you know, the, the quality or the, I don't judge people's, I don't think that the quality of a person, you know, like that's everybody's personal business, but the behavior is not aligning itself with the directions that you're taking. So you keep on having to kind of haul someone forward as you're trying to identify which direction you need to take in life and uh, in your circumstances. Now, I didn't talk about the temperance card too explicitly in the reading I just did for you guys. So we have uh, another expansion card. I love these expansion cards in the Gilded Reverie uh, Lenormand. So this is the bridges. Sorry about the heavy, heavy light, but I guess it's a good omen that good things are coming through. So I feel like Sagittarian people are going to be your brothers and sisters throughout this year. Like they're going to really understand. Sagittarius l hates confinement, right? Like that's the quality of Sagittarius that they hate being they need to create from within their inspiration. So anybody that holds them back is like a pet peeve, right? They can't stand that. So they see you in a similar situation where you're not being free to who you want to be because of like people who, that have no reason to have that influence on you. And so therefore they are providing for you avenues of escape and avenues of freedom. I wouldn't be surprised if ultimately in 2019 or so uh, it will be a Sagittarian person or a situation connected with Sagittarius that will uh, ultimately free you from whatever it is that is holding you down. Um, like if you are getting a divorce, I wouldn't be surprised if your lawyer is a Sagittarius or if you are, you know, needing to finish school, if the teacher who gets you help to finish school um, is a Sagittarius. But the key person or in work is, I feel like really strongly Sagittarian people are your keys to freedom because they have a, just trust that they have an internal understanding of what freedom is and they resonate with your situation your predicament of 2018 2017 leading into 2018 they understand that and it's their number one pet peeve what's happening to you so you will always get sympathy from Sagittarian energies provided that they're not messed up okay let's clarify the death card so this change right that's what that's the other theme that came out early on in the reading there's a lot of change going on it's come almost like you're trying to reach for this is the clover by the way change uh, leads to various different opportunities in various different directions um, and and it's almost like you have to go through iterations. Iterations means like re repetitive cycles and different different attempts until things fall into place, right? So there's going to be several different iterations, several different, you know, instances where things need to be adjusted um, in order for that success to come through. And it will be frustrating in 2018. I'm not going to lie. I feel like there's a lot of happiness there, but you're not settled in the energy. You are kind of the, you are the cavalier. You are searching out for new terrain for yourself because the old stuff has gotten stale and all those copycats got there and they're, they're kind of cramping your style, right? And, and so this is a year in which once again, you have to pick up house and shift and find and search out and seek out different avenues that are authentic you know i'm an artist so this is resonating really strongly you know when they do things like the big eyes thing i don't know if you guys know what big eyes is but there was a movie about her and it was about an artist who painted all these 
portraits of doll-like figures with the big eyes, right? And now you can see like hundreds of different artists doing that style, which is fine. Art is um, um, art is imitation, but uh, there's a certain level at which it's kind of not cool because if someone spends their entire life defining their style or their 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 the, what they offer if someone just comes along and copies it it's not really fair for the person who who create who spent all that time creating it so so unfortunately i do have to say but i feel like you're done with the thing in the past and that's the thing with art too that uh you know it it, it becomes really real and vibrant for a moment but then you have to move on as an artist you have to move on an aquarius also you're moving on from things that are stale and uh, now it's filled with a bunch of copycats. It's filled with a bunch of people who don't get the quality or the nature or the message of the orig original situation or, or thing that you were doing. And the thing and the direction that you're looking for is pure. And I do think you'll find it in 2018. I just think it's going to take, again, a considerable m amount of effort to define it and to grow with it and to change. And I feel like change that change is going to be like let's say you're wearing red shoes but those red shoes gucci made them and now everybody's wearing red shoes right or like louboutins and um everybody wants louboutins now and it's become kind of a thing right so you're kind of sick of that whole scene and so now you're looking for new shoes so you try orange shoes and it's not quite what you want and so you have to try a variety of different colors of shoes until you find ones that you know resonate and it's annoying because you had to let go of this because it became not your not not something that you would just get for yourself not something unique and pure because everybody copied your red shoes and gucci and all this stuff and then um and then uh the new direction uh, that you're trying to find you want it to be yours and comfortable and like a sacred space again and it's going to take several different missed shots before you find something right and in that that's kind of annoying this can also pertain to a relationship whereas you know like you had a good partner you had a good identity and the, that got stale and maybe that partner got distracted by a lot of different directions in love and now you have to find a new partner and it's annoying like you don't <laughs> you don't want to find a new love interest you you'll meet you know several people you'll have to go through that dating horrible dating phase i hate dating you know of of meeting horrible people with bad bad qualities or bad habits and until you find the right person so you will get to it but it's going to be a bit of like uh you have to go through several different attempts at trying to reach for it and on top of that some of the th restrictions from the past are going to carry you through to try to slow you down so it's like yeah I, I really get a sense that you're in some way and I don't mean to like milk this to death but I feel like you are in some way being limited or constrained or held back from really doing the things in a freedom way and for Aquarius for you guys it's really about freedom it's really about you know um doing things in like a way that's unrestrained you don't like rules you don't like other people's order you you're law abiding um, but i think that when things get overly like picky like in vancouver there's a law that you can't bring flotation devices to the beaches because vancouver is surrounded by beaches so you can't bring like you know like water toys <laughs> to the beaches they don't let that in the beaches and it's like that's a bylaw <laughs> it's like okay well like as an aquarian moon i'm just like you guys <laughs> that's crazy that's like overly up my ass kind of law like don't don't get too personal you know um so so anyway so sorry about that that's the silliest law but so you're okay with laws but when they become too micromanaging that's when you're feeling stifled and i feel like that's that's the frustration of 2018 that you know um yeah but there's those people who really love to micromanage everything and everyone and you know they, they usually end up in government so <laughs> they usually end up uh, managing the rest of us and we all hate them and they're annoying but
we've got to put up with them. They also do good things, so I'm not like anti-government or anything, but I hope that you guys feel what I'm saying with that. Okay, so let's see the emperor. So yeah, you need to also find the right path. So this is the paths card. You're getting all the expansion cards, which I'm kind of digging. So the paths with the emperor. Okay, so I feel like your career is going to be lit like fire. Like I can't tell you enough. Um, in 2018, I feel like your career is, you're on to something really good. It's like, it's like you're ma hand making jewelry and then all of a sudden someone starts, somebody copied my spirit dolls last year. So annoying. And, and then, and then it's so annoying because you have to deal with them, right? But then you're onto something way bigger. So it's like somebody copies your spirit dolls or your, like your, your jewelry, but you like figure out some greater, bigger thing, you know? And, and I feel like you're going to figure that out. And I feel like you're going to go in a new direction and that's going to expand and, and grow in big ways for you. And it's not in 2018 when you really feel it. I feel as though that's going to come through way bigger in the next few years. This is just the beginning of a cycle. It's quite exciting. The star we have. Take a closer look at situations. I feel this is this is long standing. So this is uh, the magnifying glass, also an expansion card. This is the only card that I have from the regular uh, the regular Lenormand, which I'm kind of living for in this spread that it came through this way. I feel like a soulmate is coming through, and Aquarius. How do I say this? You don't. Okay. Aquarius is one of the most single signs and I'm giving you guys a good reading. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I'm really feeling it. So I, I'm sorry to all the other signs, but they waited for two months for this. So yeah. anyway, so soulmate coming through in some way and this person is going to represent your, your interests. I feel like many of you for decades now have felt like you were out on a limb, that you do your own thing, you make best out of situations, but you're out on a limb in a, in a big way. And, and so I feel like somebody's coming through for you this year, in the latter part of the year, big time. It could be a Cancer or an Aquarius, possibly a Virgo or a Sag. There's the Sag, but that's different energy. This is bigger. This is, this is advocacy. This is someone who's coming through who has your back through and through. This is someone who understands what you're, this is almost like a patron or a supporter or like, a, like a soulmate in a big way. Oh, wow. That feels really, really on point. I, f I feel like somebody's going to take a look through your situations and not let anyone mess with you anymore. I feel like somebody's coming through in a big way. They could be a Taurus too. So most of these cards, Virgo, Cancer, Taurus, Aquarius, right? Sagittarius, Gemini. I, I don't feel like it's a Gemini and I feel like the Sagittarius is a different person. So you have like entourage in 2018 and entourage that's like, sickening it's like it's like a really powerful really good entourage on the one hand you have a person who opens doors for you gives you opportunity and new directions and then you have someone who is like a fighter and someone who the things that you let go of is the things that they'll fight on your behalf for pretty pretty awesome pretty awesome okay so, okay, strength card. Let's find this out. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Dice. So this is more expansion card. Uh, expansion card. Dice. Um, okay. So this is, this is the part where this is what's on you for 2018. And this is where we'll finish the reading. I feel like this is what I was waiting for. You, your place in all this is to keep trying. There will be lots of things that don't work out for you this year. So you're going to start, you're like, I'm going to learn shiatsu massage. And then you realize that that's not for you. And then you'll be like, I'm going to learn to surf. And then you realize that's not for you. And, and you may feel as you go through all the different things, the different things that you're trying to do, you come to realize that those things are not for you. It's going to get in your head and you're going to wonder like, hey, is this going to ever produce something that is in alignment with who I am? 
I do sense that you your drive is going to be challenged and you're going to have to have a really really be resilient and fight for your um fight fight to keep trying within yourself because you're going to get disillusioned and you're going to feel that sense that you're running away from the cliff and they're just going to follow and copy you so it's like mobile mobilizing feelings and and the feeling of like conviction that you can keep looking for something and finding a path through it that's going to be your struggle and i feel like you need to keep fighting for these opportunities because in the latter part of the year probably in the fall autumn in the northern hemisphere so we're talking like august on there's a big push at the end of august and september around then i feel like that's when things are going to really fall into place for you it's not it's going to be overwhelmingly good overwhelmingly not majority but like really really good with the kind of gnawing away but I feel like somebody's going to take a look at the things that are holding you back and they're going to obliterate them I feel like someone advocacy representation somebody's going to get mad on your behalf and that's a great thing and and they love you very much they love you from a soul connection so Aquarius it, you're going to be fire and I hope it was worth the wait. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. And oh, shoot, we went over an hour. So I hope it's worth the wait. And I hope you guys have a wonderful 2018. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.